Hi! I wanted to put a brief interlude here just to highlight the fact that I'm still working on this painting because that's amazing to me. Uh, I'm actually not quite sure how long it's been. Um, I will probably put that information somewhere once I review the video. Um, so I'm just going to say what my process is going forward. Uh, uh, this is the first time that I've ever painted an octopus. Uh, it's been quite a journey. I think I might title this video Journey with an Octopus. <laughs> uh, and I was really going for a bold sort of dramatic effect. So that's why I have the orange on top of the blue and that's why initially I was going with the blue on top of the orange. But even though I asked a lot of uh, my friends what they thought if I should just leave it the way it was because I had pretty much filled in all the details as I wanted for the octopus. Um, I thought that it was too bright and bold. I thought it was perfect for, you know, maybe a kid's room. But I was thinking of the final setting for the painting and that that's an office space. So I decided to... I decided that I wanted to mute the colors and um, I am happy with that. I am glad that I took the blue out and I whitened the background. Um, something else that I really wanted to add was contrast because I actually took a picture of it and I put it in Photoshop and I realized I made it black and white just to give myself an idea of the different values that were in the painting because when it's all color you know it's harder to get that sense of um, how black is the black or how deep is the blue and how white is the light blue and you know the paintings it's good for them to have balance you know contrast is one of those things that make a really big difference in your painting depending on the look you're going for and because I, I did want the bold look and that would help with achieving the, that effect um now i would like to warm the painting up a bit uh it's very cooled down since i have the blue the hair then the gray and then the white so i wanted to add some ochre yellow into it perhaps uh just to lighten the painting up even though the orange is there the background sort of just tones it all down and I want it to seem more seamless. So, you know, I'll put little spots of the, the same colors that are in the octopus into the background. Um, uh, one other thing I want to say is that I am quite proud of myself. <laughs> um, because it's the first time I ever painted an octopus and it was also done without a single reference image and uh, when you're just copying um, you know the, the lines and the colors and the shapes that's a lot easier than trying to compile photos uh, trying to make something trying to form an image that makes sense because as someone who studied biology I also wanted to look like an actual octopus out there and not just a, an artist right an artist's rendering um, and then you know to get the lighting right, you know all these little tentacles, <laughs> um, and then to get the texture, uh, I had texture. I took it out, I added it back. This was quite a journey for me. It was enjoyable. I, I do love painting. Uh, I could spend my life doing it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to pause to say I'm still painting. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like it, subscribe, share, comment. It's really good to have some feedback. And uh, let me know how I'm doing.